ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ತರಸ್ಯಾಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೋದೋಯ ನಿಧಿವ ಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೃಥಿವ್ಯ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಸ್ಥಿತೋಗ್ರತಾರೈ ಭ್ರೂವಿಕ್ರಿಯಾ ವಿರತ ಪ್ರಸಂಗೈ ನೇತ್ರೈ ಅವಿಸ್ಪಂದಿತ ಪಕ್ಷ್ಮಲೈ ಲಕ್ಷೀಕೃತ ಘ್ರಾಣ ಅಧೋ ಮಯೂಕೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಶಿವಾಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಿಂಚಿತ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಭ್ರೂವಿಕ್ರಿಯಾ ವಿರತ ಪ್ರಸಂಗೈ ಹಿಸ್ ನೇತ್ರೈ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಘ್ರಾಣ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಟಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ನೋಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷೀಕೃತ ಘ್ರಾಣ ಅಧೋ ಮಯೂಖೈ ದ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಘ್ರಾಣ ದ ನೋಸ್ ಭ್ರೂವಿಕ್ರಿಯಾ ವಿರತ ಪ್ರಸಂಗೈ ದಿ ಐಬ್ರೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ and kinchit prakash stimita ugra taraihi the um, taraka which is not completely closed so his eyes are lowered so one can see the uh, black portion of his eye uh, and uh, he has not completely let the light from his eyes come out but then it is just uh, he has tried to control the prakasham that is there in his uh, taraka which is ugra which is a fierce so tadrisham samyaminam dadarsh and we also did this right uh, avrishti samrambham iva ambuvaham apam iva aadharam anuttarangam antascharanam marutam nirodhat nivata nishkampam iva pradeepam he was looking like a pradeepa a lamp which was nishkampam without any uh, uh, movement uh, as if there were no uh, air movement at all in that place and when there is no air movement the, uh, the lamp will also not move so he was looking like that or he another example that he gives another udaharanam upama he gives here is avrishti sambrambham iva ambuvaha a low hanging cloud which is filled with water but it can it can uh, you know rain at any moment tatha asit shivaha apam aadharam it's like uh, he was looking like a reservoir of water but not even one wave was coming there so there is a possibility of a wave coming up but the waves are not coming only if there is a movement of air can any sanchalanam happen because he had controlled all of his antaschara marut all the airs that pranas prana vayu that are there inside him he has com- controlled it completely nirodhat his posture is that of a yogi so his yogic posture in that samadhi state that is the posture that is de- being described here of shiva hmm? so the next one is kapala netrantara labdha margaihi jyotif prarohaihi uditaihi shirastaha ಮೃಣಾಲ ಸೂತ್ರಾಧಿಕ ಸೌಕುಮಾರ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಾಲಸ್ಯ ರಶ್ಮೀನ್ ಗ್ಲಪಯಂತಂ ಇಂದೋಹೋ ಬಾಲಸ್ಯ ಇಂದೋಹೋ ರಶ್ಮೀನ್ ಗ್ಲಪಯಂತಂ ದದರ್ಶ ದೇ ಸೋ ಶಿವ ಹೂ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಸಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಶಿರಸ್ತಃ ಶಿರಸ್ತಃ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರಾತ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಫ್ ಪ್ರರೋಹೈ ಉದಿತೈ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರಂ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ವೇರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹೋಲ್ ಹಿ ಸಪೋಸಿಡ್ಲಿ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿಡ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ದಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೌ ದ ಕುಂಡಲಿನಿ ಇಸ್ ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರಂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯ ಫಾರ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಸೊ ಶಿರಸ್ತಃ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ portion brahmarandram uditaihi jyotif prarohaihi jyotis light comes out of that crown of his head and it's extremely lustrous there and how does it come out kapala netra antara labdha margaihi netrantaram the space between his eyes that is through that space it gets a margam a path to go out through the brahmarandra so the kundalini there it travels through the uh, body through various chakras the netrantaram is agnya chakram and through that agnya chakram it gets a marga it gets the path to come out of the brahmarandram so tadrisha jyotif prarohaha tasya shirastaha agachati ityeva 
Now, when this jyotis, when this luster comes out of Shiva's head, there is another lustrous object there also on his head, which is the uh, moon. So, Indu, there is a Bala Indu there, and there are rays coming out of that uh, moon also. Now, if these two jyotis clash, what wins is the jyotis that comes out of his Brahmarandra. So, it seems as if he is glapayantam. He is making the uh, uh, moon's rays fade. Glapayati ityukte fading, mlayati. Tadrisha prakashatana vidyate indoho rashminam. So it's the Rashmi of uh, Bala Indu, which is very soft by nature. It's not a very harsh uh, uh, light that is that emanates from the moon. So it is already a very soft light. Mrinala Sutra Adhika Saukumaryana. The uh, rays that come out of the moon are Saukumaryam. It has a softness which is Adhikam, which is greater than that of Mrinala Sutra, that of the lotus uh, stalk. So it is even more soft. And Tadrasha Rashmi in Glapayantam. So it's naturally it will fade with just a little bit of Jyotis. Imagine the Jyotis that comes out of Shiva's Brahmarandra. Uh, so that is naturally it is uh, uh, softening the glow of the moon even more. Okay. Uh, the Vivaranam is very beautiful uh, in this. Itham Pratipadita. Swasa Swasana uh, Jayadi Swa Asana Jayadi Rupasya Yogasya Siddhim Darshayati. So Swa Asana Jayadi Pratipadita Swa Asana Jayadi. So yeah, first was the Asanam, and then he had Antascharana Marutam Nirodhaha, the Marut the Pranavayu Nirodhaha Api. Now the Yoga Siddhi uh, uh, point. For us, it will probably take Janma Janmantare Eva Bhavati. For us, it won't happen immediately. But then for him, the moment he is sitting in that posture and then he has controlled all his uh, 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 in, inner vayu and the next level is Yoga Siddhi. The Siddhi is Murdha Jyotihi is the Siddhi. Um, in the... Sad Sutra Padama. In the third uh, uh, Adhyaya, Murdha Jyotishi Siddha Darshanam is your sutra for uh, this 32. Shirah Kapale Antas Chidram Prabhaswaram Jyotihi. Shirah Kapale on the top of the Shiras, the skull. Antas Chidram, there is a hole that is there inside the Kapala and inside that is the Prabhaswaram Jyotihi. So, Murdha Jyotishi, Siddha Darshanam, Tatra Samyamam Kritva, you control yourself there, and Siddhanam Dhyava Pritivyoho Antaralacharinam Darshanam. That is where you can see they have controlled that, and that is the space between the Prithvi and Bhumi. They keep moving up and down because they are able to control that Jyotis and bring it to that Sahasraram. See, this is the process of getting the Kundalini up from the Mooladharam to the Sahasrara. So when they bring that Jyotis and control it at the Brahmarandram, which means they have the capability of moving through different spheres at that point. That is when they attain all the Siddhis. So that's why he says Siddha Darshanam. So Siddhis are attained at that point and so he is called a Siddha at that point. Okay, so Murdha Shabdena, he says Sushumna Nadi. Sushumna Nadi Dwara Tatra uh, Shaktim Unnamaya. You bring that to the uh, Brahmarandra. So he just creates, gives us the picture of yoga in nutshells here. <laughs> so, so that's interesting. So Kalidasa knew yoga. Uh -huh. Some point. He, he okay, then, combines it with Advaitam also. Advaitam. I know. Amazing. Amazing. Ah. The other one. So these people that we see with Siddhis, mm. they have a few, some, we see some, people, yes. some you know, sadhus with one or two Siddhis. So they've been able to do that up to a point, I guess, right? Yes. Uh, bring the Jyotish. To a, yes. So, uh, the moment you attain Siddhi, 
But then what happens for all of those people is Prakatyat Siddhinashaha. Prakatyat. When you Prakatam Bhavet Cheta, Tatra Siddhehe Nashaha Bhavati. Slowly mm-hmm. there is a reduction. That's why when you, when there is a tapas accumulation, you uh-huh. attain certain Siddhis, you are mm-hmm. able to exhibit them. But mm-hmm. as you dwell in that exhibition, mm-hmm. you will realize that the power slowly goes down. You will have mm-hmm. to again uh, uh, rack up on your tapas there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it, it's not, it's best not to dwell on those uh, uh, Siddhis right. because mm-hmm. prakatya, when you display, it automatically goes down. So it's better to go towards uh, moksha rather than dwell on these siddhis one by one. Yeah, yeah. That will automatically happen <laughs> in your path. So, so that hole in the skull is this, uh, probably the same as uh, when you uh, the separation of the skull plates when you're a baby. Yeah, the right? soft the spot, you soft say. Spot. Oh. Ah. The fontanel, the, the fontanel. Ah. Okay, oh, the from... Ah. Mm-hmm. I don't know the in the name, but we usually say as a soft spot for the babies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the, and the, even um, with the, um, those who have this uh, mukti, right? So some of the sannyasis, naturally mm-hmm. they will have that split in the skull at that point. Admalda mm-hmm. Ganapati Muni uh, used to tie jata. Uh, uh, tie his ah. hair up because at one point uh, ah. there was a split in his skull and that's why oh, he had oh. to do it. Um, ah. That uh, That is why you mm-hmm. have Urdhva Jata for a lot of people. Ah. The ah. fact is you protect that part. Ah. Ah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. The Sanya Sikla, Yarik and the, you know, the Tala Vodayalana, they will take a coconut and break on their head and do it. Mm-hmm. Kapala Moksham, they call it as Kapala Moksham. For so, the end, they're buried yeah. inside uh, in a sitting yogic posture yeah. in the Samadhi. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. See, also, this is sorry. So, this is also what is Urdhvaretas, is it? No, Urdhvaretas is Brahmacharya. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, celibacy. That okay. is celibacy. Yeah. Okay, fine. Hmm. Ha. So, shirastaihi, shirastaha uditaihi, shirastaha, this is tasil, Shira, uh, shirasaha, shira, uh, tasmat iti. So, shirastaha from the head, which is Brahmarandra. So, Brahmarandra, shirastaha Brahmarandra, uditaihi, udgataihi, uh, jyotif prarohaihi, jyotish prarohaihi, jyotisham, Antargata Agneya Mandala Samudgatanam Tejasam Prarohaihi Ankuraihi. The, the Praroham or the light um, sprouts kind of thing which comes out from the Brahmarandra. Uditaihi is coming out. Jyotish Praroham is Antargata Agneya Mandalam. Agneya Mandalam is the fire that is there within us which is the Shakti. That we call. So he says, Agneya Mandalam is the Kundalini Shakti. Hmm? Tejasam Prarohaihi Ankuraihi Balasya Indoho Jata Koti Tata Ghatitasya. The, the uh, uh, in Chandra, the moon is Ghatitam. It is uh, present uh, in the one corner of his Jata. Jata Koti Tate Ghatitam Asti. Gaditaha asti balachandraha. Tasya rashmin glapayantam. Glanim prapayantam. It makes it uh, uh, fade. Okay. It makes the rays of the chandra fade. I am abhiprayaha. So now he gives an idea of what it means here. Hmm? Yoginaha hi. Niyamita pranaha. They control their prana. Agneya mandala aparanamadheyam kundalini shabda abhideyam atma tejaha. So this kundalini is not something different or anything. It is just your power that is there, which you slowly increase as you do dhyanam and tapas and indriya nigraha and everything. So the path of yoga leads to, uh, um, what to say, it's strengthening your inner power. That is kundalini. Not something very different or anything. So you you move it from your baser instincts to higher levels. 
you 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 focus on higher things in life rather than focusing on indriya uh, uh, and how to enjoy using this shariram instead of that you move from different levels to take it to the brahmarandram so kundalini is the name for this agneya mandalam muladharat uttapya muladharam is the uh, private parts right so that is where it is and then from there kramat sushumna antaram sushumna antaram inside of sushumna nadi so this sushumna nadi is a special you have ida pingala and then this uh, sushumna sushumna is for the supasana and the shakti to bring it through the uh, body hridayam nabhi pradesham nabhi pradesho mooladharam uh, and then you have uh, manipurakam ஸ்வாதிஷ்டானம் தென் மணிப்பூரகம் ஆமா ஸ்வாதிஷ்டானம் இஸ் பிலோ த நாபி நாபி இஸ் மணிப்பூரகம் ஹிருதயம் இஸ் அநாகதம் விசுத்தி இந்த கண்டம் பூமத்திய இஸ் அக்னா சக்கரம் அண்ட் தென் பிரம்மரந்திரம் இஸ் சஹசிரார பூமத்தியம் நீத்வா யூ டேக் யுவர் பவர் த்ரூ தட் அண்ட் தென் துவாதசாந்தஸ்திதே பரமாத்மனி யோஜயந்தி Paramatma is supposed to be there at the Sahasraram and you are connecting your own Shakti, Jeevatma with that Paramatma. That's why I'm going to do it. So this Dvadashantam means Brahmarandram or Sahasraram. Dvadashantam is uh, at the end of 12 and Rikal. Yeah? The meaning, the literal meaning for that is actually there are 12 chakras in the body. We all know only of Mooladhara, Swadhishtana, Uh, manipuraka etc only seven chakras or namsha let me i'll edukre enoda i had made some notes for shivalilarnam oh okay oh adla varda adla varu avar yadvadasa inchante ikamnu onnu potrupar vare let me idu mutsana dikshadar kriti la nav navavarna kriti la dvadashanta one of the navavarnas la ha ambalanga irkanu to ha adu vera adu i'll tell you yes oh adu saundarya lahri ku ponom aduke oh okay okay ah uh, yes there it is i got it i'm mm. sure so the shloka here is yad dvadashantaika vibhavaniyam yat dvadashantaika vibhavaniyam so dvadashante yaha the uh, one who is understood as being at the end of the 12 chakras so the 12 chakras is mentioned in vigyana bhairava krama dvadashakam samyak dvadashakshara veditam stula sukshma parastitya muktva muktva antatah shiva at every point every uh, 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 place there are uh, one you you will have to um, uh, meditate on one aksharam and then leave that and go to the next uh, chakram and then you go on to the next aksharam slowly you go to the brahmarandram where shiva exists so kramat dvadashaka 12 you will have to traverse through those 12 parts so the 12 parts are janmagram moolam kandaha so the mooladhara is actually split into three here janmagra moola and kanda mooladhara and swadishtanam combined here the next is nabhihi hrit kantha then you have talu bhrumadhya lalatam brahmarandrah beyond brahmarandram you have shakti and vyapini which is your you will come across that on the on the pranic sphere and grow yeah the pranic sphere is uh, uh, dashangulam sthitva it is beyond your uh, body uh, for about 10 inches or something like the dasha angulam paryantam tatra the pranic sphere is supposed to exist so in that pranic sphere you have the shakti and vyapini that is and dvadashasya ante dvadasha chakranam ante eva shivaha vartate so the 12 there are a a e e u u a i o a u am and aha at each uh, uh, these are the 12 aksharas that you think of and do dhyanam as you do an upasana of parmeshwara idu da and dvadashantam nu to very ella brahmarandram nu duva konjo i struggled to get this section in uh, <laughs> shivalilarnam so this is sahasra ha 
சஹசிரம் சஹசிரம் வந்து பிரம்மரந்திரம் அதுக்கு மேல யூ ஹாவ் த சஹசிரே பத்மே சஹரசி பத்தியா விகரசே இருக்கா மகிழ் மூலாதாரே கமப்பி மணிப்பூரே குதவகம் ஸ்திதம் சுவாதிஷ்டானே ஹிருதி மருதம் ஆகாசம் உபரி மனோபி பூமத்தியே சகலமபி பித்வா குலபதம் சகலமபி பித்வா குலபதம் குலபதம் மீன்ஸ் குலசிய தட் இஸ் யுவர் ஷரீரஸ்ய பதம் பந்தானம் பித்வா தென் யூ கோ அவுட் விச் இஸ் வேர் த சஹசிரார பத்ம எக்ஸிஸ்ட் அண்ட் வேர் சஹசிரே பத்மே பத்தியா சக ரகசி விஹரசே சக்தி இஸ் தேர் விளையாடின்னு இருக்கா அவ அந்த இடத்துல சோ யூ கோ அண்ட் யூனோ சி ஹர் தேர் அதுதான் பராசக்தி அது நம்மளுடைய ஒரு ஆத்ம தேஜா தட்ஸ் அவர் சோ இஃப் இட் இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி லெட்ஸ் ஏ பி ஆர் நாட் அட் ஆல் அவேர் ஆஃப் தட் சாத்விகம் இன் அஸ் யூனோ எனி பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சத்துவ குணம் இன் அவர் பாடி தட் இஸ் யுவர் குண்டலினி சக்தி இட்ஸ் நாட் சம் அப்படியே யோகிக் பவர் தட் இஸ் தேர் ஆர் எனி திங் இட் இஸ் தட் பிரசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் சத்துவ குணம் சோ தேர் வில் பி அ ஸ்பைக் of that kundalini shakti every time we display a sattva guna oh wow you must to go see that is where you are in touch with your sattvam oh. every time you are being kind or you are displaying something which is not rajasik or tamasik mm. there is a spike there mm. you recognize that and you concentrate on that spike and try to raise the level of that spike that is why ninga yoschu paathirna see for some people it's very easy to do good things to others it's mm. very natural for some people it is a tough effort mm. so what is the level of goodness that is there in you for some people it is probably 1% for some people it is 10% so which means the for you to raise it from 1 to 10 will be very easy for those people for some people it may be 50% so to raise that kundalini from that to 50 will be very easy but for the others it will be a struggle you keep moving from 1 to 10 1 to 10 1 to 10 and at some point you will probably move from 2 to 10 because you have achieved that so easily it's it's so abstract and yet it is in touch with your physical body and wow. your mind wow it's something you'll have to experience hmm. and understand la totally totally so <laughs> when there is a concentration of sattva guna is when there is a chance it can rise la yes there is a maybe no, i don't no, know because idu vandu atma tejaha is your uh, sattva guna pradhan hmm. uh, jeevatma or paramatma or anything is sattva pradhan yes yes you are using the rajas to bring that sattvam up and so that there is a this is shaktam completely shaktam Okay. okay so this is not our yoga you can uh, a combination of yoga and shaktam mm. not advaitatla vand it's completely very different you can use this to uh, you know as a path to understand that advaitam would be more intellectual this is more of an experiential understanding of what goes on and try to you know get that up பின்னாதீயம் 
Mm. What do you understand That's from awesome. that? The one element that is understood at the end of Dwadasha. If we translate it, mm. it doesn't make any sense at all. No, amazing that yeah. you are able to access these texts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering that... Uh... It's amazing. I'm wondering if there's any connection between this Dwadasha to the to the Dwadasha Linga, the 12, you know. Uh, Dwadasha Jyotir Linga. Ma. Jyotir Linga. Ah. No, yeah. Therila, could be. Hmm. Could be, right? No. That could be, hmm. Why only 12? Why can't you have 10? <laughs> maybe it could be. Possible, yeah. possible. Other than the, maybe a deeper study of the Dwadasha Linga Stotram of Shankara would give an, something give an idea of what mm. it is mm. yeah. that is amazing uh, so you're doing, yeah. bringing so, tantra elements sir. okay have, oh, you, read, no, have no. you read those texts Maudi? like or you, you are okay. the, i like, have that and oh. so i keep oh. reading it as and when uh, the chances come out come up oh so oh so, so spashtam was nama puratanam nava nama spashtam it is eva. it is it's got a very puranic uh, style of writing uh, Swachanda mm. Tantram especially. Vijnana Bhairavam is more uh, uh, 15th century kind of uh, either. Uh -huh. But uh, Swachanda Tantram has a more ancient Adla uh, uh, Tantram is uh, something that has to be practiced. So only when it combines with practice, you will understand it more. Lena, you won't, it's not philosophy, right? So it's more of what is the Tattvams and everything. So it's... Uh, uh -huh. Awesome. Hmm. Uh, Shivali especially Nilakanta Dikshita uses a lot of Tantra Shastra in his oh. uh, this thing. Nariya mm. it's uh, I've I've forced I've been reading those brief and just slow takes time to understand. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so Dvadashanta Sthite Paramatmani Yojayanti. So Atma Tejaha. They take their own tejas. Uh, yogis, when they do the dhyanam, they take that shakti and then slowly they uh, rise it to the level of shivatvam. Then only you will have a shiva sayujyam there, which is the paramatma that is uh, present at the end of the 12 chakras in the body. So, paramatmani yojayanti. Parameshwarasyatu tadanim tena tejasa tan madhyavartinaha balachandrasya prabha sankochaha api sanjataha. But for Parameshwara, who has one, he, he is in this form right now. He is also in the form of the ultimate Paramatma also. At the same time, he has taken a form of Shiva here and sitting down with that Balachandra in his, on his uh, head and all that. So, Asya Parameshwarasya api, Yoginaha sthitihi vartate ti karanath, Parameshwarasya, Tena Tejasa, with that uh, uh, Shakti, Agneya Mandala, Shakti, he tan madhya vartinaha, jata madhya vartinaha, balachandrasya, uh, sankochaha jayate, prabha sankochaha jayate. There is a collapse of the uh, uh, or the uh, shortening of these rays when this uh, jyotis, atma jyotis, comes out of the barmarandram for Shiva. Hmm? Jyotish prarohana madhye, uh, balachandre. Paramatma Samyam Cha Pratiyate. Hmm. It's equal to Paramatma. Huh. I think he is saying that uh, uh, maybe this particular line gives me the idea that he probably feels Shivatvam is higher than Paramatma uh, Bhava. So, Shiva's Jyotis is uh, more than the Palachar. I don't think you need to take this. Vandate. Idu kunjo seriyalla. Paramatma Samyam ityute param Balachandre param Atma Samyam cha pratiyate or Paramatma Samyam cha pratiyate. So, probably Balachandra, the Chandra, the moon that is there on his Jata is like the Paramatma Surupam which is present in the Sasraram. And this mm -hmm. Jyotis goes and mixes with that uh, Jyotis. But then when this happens, Shiva Jyotihi is much more than the Paramatma Jyoti uh, is what he is trying to figure out here. Not so good. Uh, yeah. 
ஜோதிஷ்பிரோகாணம்யம்யூகியூகி What is the Gamana Margam? He is uh, uh, Uham Kritva. So, Kalidasa uh, probably thinks that this is how it should have gone. The Margam through which the uh, Jyotif Praroham has gone, the luster has gone up. He is uh, trying to imagine and saying, the poet is imagining here. So, Kapala Netrantara Labdha Margai Hi. Kapala Sya Skal. பிரம்மசிரஹ் கபாலசிய என் நேத்ராந்தரார நேத்ர ஓ திஸ் இஸ் நாட் இன் த மிடில் ஆஃப் த அக்னா சக்கரம் இல்ல ஹி சேஸ் த நேத்ரம் இஸ் கபாலசிய நேத்ரம் இது தேர் இஸ் தட் பிரம்மரந்திரம் இஸ் கால்ட் கபால நேத்ரம் சோ கபால நேத்ராந்தர பிரம்மசிரஹ் கபாலசிய எத் ரந்திரம் வர்த்ததே தசிய ரந்திரசிய மார்க்கம் லப்த்வா லப்த மார்க்கை நேத்ராந்தரம் தேன பதா லப்தமார்கை பிரம்மசிர கபால நேத்திரந்திர நிர்கதை தோஸ் ஜோதி பிரரோஹ விச் இஸ் கம் அவுட் ஆஃப் த ஷிரஸ் பை கெட்டிங் த ஸ்பேஸ் தட் இஸ் தேர் இன் தட் ரந்திரம் விச் இஸ் தட் ஐ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் சாஃப்ட் ஸ்பாட் தட் இஸ் தேர் ஆன் த கபாலம் ஆன் த ஸ்கல் ியம் <laughs> Uh, rays of the moon have a softness which is even softer than the string that is inside a lotus stalk so prabala sannidau durbalam glanim aeti iti prasiddham hi so when there is a prabala when there is someone who is very strong in the presence of a strong person it's natural that a, a weaker person becomes very uh, uh, he fades in the presence of a stronger person So, Durbalam Glanim Eti. Prasiddha. Hmm. Kapala Netrantara Labdha Margaihi Jyotif Prarohaihi Uditai Shirastaha Mrinala Sutra Dhika Saukumaryan Balasya Rashmin Glapayantam Indoho. Now, the last shloka describing Shiva. This is the last shlokam here. Mano Navadwara, everything has been in Dvitiya Vibhakti connecting with the earlier shloka where he said Samyaminam Dadarasha. So this is the last shloka in that series. Mano Navadwara Nishiddha Vritti Hridi Vyavasthapya Samadhi Vashyam Yam Aksharam Khetra Vido Viduhu Tam Atmanam Atmani Avalokayantam Dadarasha. He saw Shiva who was Atmani Atmanam Avalokayantam. who was looking at the paramatma swarupa within this jeevatma tadrasham paramatma parameshwaram dadarsha so manaha navadwara nishiddha vritti manas has no way to go out now the mano vyaparam vritti of manas has been nishiddha has been obstructed from entering the nine uh, gateways that are there in this body for us navadwara it gives the explanation of what are all the navadwaras in the vyakhyanam we'll go over that there hridi vyavasthapya you bring the manas pratyahara illa you bring the manas from the navadwaram and hridi samadhi vashyam krutva you have controlled it because of your samadhi and you have vyavasthapya established in the hridayam hridi so the mind's locus is hridayam That is, Hridaye Dahara Kashaha Vidyate Tatraiva Manasaha Vyavasthanam Kritva. Okay, so Manaha Hridi Vyavasthapya, having the mind has to be Antarmukham. 
பகிர்முக சுதுர்லபா இல்ல அந்தர்முக சமாராத்யா பகிர்முக சுதுர்முக சுதுர்லபா இட்ஸ் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு அட்டைன் சக்தி வென் யுவர் இந்திரியாஸ் ஆர் ஆல் பகிர்முகம் இட்ஸ் ஃபேசிங் அவுட் சைட் அந்தர்முகம் சேர்த்து சமாராத்யா இட்ஸ் வெரி ஈஸி டு டூ பூஜா ஃபார் ஹர் ஸோ அகிருதி வியவஸ்தாப்பியா யூ பிளேஸ் ஹர் வெல் பிளேஸ் தட் மனஸ் வெல் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் இன் த மைண்ட் தட் இஸ் கேட்டிங் இட் கண்ட்ரோல்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் சமாதி அக்ஷரம் விதுஹு எம் பரமா எம் சிவம் அக்ஷரம் அனஸ்வரம் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் இன்டெஸ்ட்ரக்டிபிள் ஹி இஸ் நோ டிகே ரைட் ஹூ கே நாட் பி டெஸ்ட்ராய்ட் அட் ஆல் நக்ஷீயத்தே ஏ வதந்தி தோஸ் கிரேட் பீப்புள் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் பீப்புள் ஹூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் கஷேத்ரம் அண்ட் கஷேத்ரஜா கஷேத்ரம் இஸ் ஷரீரம் கஷேத்ரஜா இஸ் தி சாட்சி சைத்தன்யம் தட் இஸ் தேர் த ஷரீர அதிஷ்டாத்ர ஆத்மா ஸோ கஷேத்ர விதா தோஸ் ஹூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த பாடி அண்ட் த ஆத்மன் தே call shiva as aksharam aksharam viduhu they understand yam they the, the they understand shiva to be the uh, 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 indestructible entity he tam atmanam atmani avalokayantam he who is looking at the paramatma swarupam jeevatma inside as uh, non different from the paramatma swarupam tadrisham shivam dadarsha so manmatha came to that place to see a yogi here yoga siddhe phalam aha now the process of yoga was described and then now the phalam also has to be uh, described right so the first asanam and then mano nigraha everything was described anta prana uh, pranayama then you have pratyaharam which was the navadwara you you take it in and then dharana dhyana samadhi so what is the palam of this entire process which is atmani atmanam uh, pasyati kshetra hmm? vidaha yam aksharam viduhu manaha hridi vyavasthapya tam atmanam atmani avalokayantam tadarsha so kshetra vidaha what does kshetra vidaha mean kshetram vidanti kshetram shariram vidanti those who understand the body not just what is the body made of the parts of the body no, not the anatomy of the body பட் மோர் லைக் ஆத்மனா விபின்னத்வேன ஷரீரம் அவகச்சந்தே இத்தே அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த பாடி டு பி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஆத்மா யுஷ்மதஸ்மத் கோச்சரயோகோ தமஃப் பிரகாஷவத் விருத்தஸ்வாவயோகோ பர் வென் யூ ஸ்டா வென் சங்கர ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிரம்மசூத்திர பாஷ்யம் அத்தியாச பாஷ்யம் ஹிஸ் இஸ் த ஃபஸ்ட் ப்ரில்யூட் டு தட் த ஃபஸ்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் தமஃப் பிரகாஷவத் விருத்தஸ்வாவயோகோ யுஷ்மத் அஸ்மத் பிரத்யோகோச்சரோ அஸ்மத் அஹம் இது சேத் மம ஷரீரம் திஸ் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் அஹம் திஸ் இஸ் தமஹ வெர் இஸ் அஹம் இஸ் பிரகாஷஸ்வரூபம் தீஸ் டூ ஆர் சோ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ஈச் அதர் அண்ட் எட் வி கம்பைன் போத் ஆஃப் தெம் அண்ட் சே ஐ ஆம் ஃபீலிங் ஹங்கிரி ஐ ஆம் ஹர்ட் இது ஷரீரதர்மான ஆத்மனி தத்திர அத்திய வதாம அப்படிதான் ஆரம்பிக்கிற பிகாஸ் வி ஃபைண்ட் திஸ் காம்பினேஷன் அண்ட் கன்ஃபியூஷன் அதா இதம் சாஸ்திரம் ஆரப்சியதே யுஷ்மதஸ்மத் பிரத்யே கோச்சரோ தமஃப் பிரகாஷவத் விருத்தஸ்வாவயோ இதரயத்திர பாவ கத்தியமா வரும் அது இட்ஸ் நாட் அ ஸ்லோகா இட்ஸ் அ கத்தியம் தட் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லைன் பாருங்கோ டேக் அப் பிரம்மசூத்திர சங்கர பாஷ்யம் ஆத்மஸ்வரூபம் so one who understands the vibhaga the difference between shariram and the atma te eva kshetra vidaha what do they say yam aksharam viduhu yam parameshwaram shivam anashwaram jananti they understand him as a person who does not have any destruction viduhu inge oru sutram is there vidoh lataha va 
So vidanti can also come, viduhu can also come. So not only in lit, veda vedatu, viduhu, viveda vedatuhu, veduhu varla, viduhu varla, though something like that is there. This is this uh, uh, us adesha comes for lut also. It usually only comes for yayuhu and the madri. It only comes for lit lakara, but here you can find it for uh, both lut also. You can have vidanti as well as viduhu. Antah karanam hridi hridaye mano nivasasthane ityartaha. So manaha tatra vyavasthapya. You bring your manas and uh, make it firmly established inside the gridayam and not go out of the nine gateways. So uh, 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 the uh, evidence that gridayam is the sthanam for manas. Yato niryati vishayati yasmins chaiva praliyate hridayam tadvijaniyan manasaha sthiti gocharam. Manasaha sthiti gocharam. Where the manas stays without ven venturing out. When it wants to venture out, it goes out from one place. Yes, yataha vishayati niryati. From the object that it goes out. And yes, means praliyate. From where it comes and merges. Tatu manasaha sthiti gocharam hridayam vijaniyat. Understand that to be the hridayam. So you can't translate this. Mind is manas, hridayam is heart. Uh, it's difficult to say what it is. Heart in the organ is the And the mother is the same. Heart here, hridayam is more like the dharakasham that you call, or uh, maybe it is just outside of that dharakasham where it is that hridayam. Hrith. Antakkaranam is the same. From where this manas goes out. Vyavasthapya. Sthirataya sthapayitva, after firmly establishing it within ourselves. Yataha vishayat, from that point, where, from whichever point niryati, it gets out. Manaha nirgachati. Yasmin scha praliyate. To where yasmin vishaye praliyate, where it comes and merges. Tat vishayam saha vishayaha hridayam iti vijaniyat. Understand that point to be hridayam. Oh, oh. Which is manasaha sthiti gocharam. That is the place of uh, resi residence or place where you understand the perspective, perspective of uh, manas abdin edutin domna adha angadha irikku abdin purunjukun. That is the abode of the manas. manas is hridayam abdin so for this so at least in this shloka is making a distinction between hridayam and manaha. Yes. But they are, of course, it's not, not related to heart as an organ or anything. It's, yes. It's completely different. It's so in the anahata point. padmam chulron, yeah, and the anahatam chulron, yeah. And the edam ah. hridayam. Where there is a dwadasha ah. dalam padmam, ah. hridayam ityu chate. Ah. 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 So, Hrin Madhyam Ityukte, that is where your Hridayam is. Aha, aha. Okay, okay. Am Atmanam Paramatmanam Atmani Swasmin Jeevatmani Avalokayantam Pasyantam. So, Yam Aksharam Niti Viduhu Tam Paramatmanam Jeevatmani Pasyantam Parameshwaram Dadarsha. So, the connection here is. Is making a distinction between the paramat as if there is a distinction between the paramatma and the Ishwara tattvam that we see in front of us. So paramatma is without Maya. Maya shabali tattva uh, vyavasthayam. The, uh, he takes on the form of Shiva with a jata and the balachandra and everything, and he is sitting here. So what he is constantly doing? Kena apikame na tapas chachara. He is doing uh, uh, tapas there constantly. What is he actually achieving there? The palan there is, he is seeing Paramatma Swarupam within his uh, uh, Jeevatma. Intellectuala purunjakana olada. You can't try to... Can I be in that level? Na, nala, you can't. Right? Vishayabhya manaha nivarya. You control your mind from the outside objects of the world. Jeeva parayoho aikyameva avagachantam ityartaha. After stopping the mind from the outside objects, he is 
uh, at the uh, aikyam level of jiva and paramatma not jiva uh, uh, more like brahma and atma aikyam is understanding it uh, and experiencing it at that point okay so oh, sorry enak konju confusion undudu வெளியேறதுதய <laughs> தத்தியானுசாரேண விஷயான் அனுதாவதக மனச நிரோத பிரம் ஆக மனஸ் த கேரக்டர் ஆஃப் மனஸ் இஸ் டு கோ பிஹைண்ட் எவ்ரி ஆப்ஜெக்ட் தட் இஸ் பீயிங் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் பை தி இந்திரியாஸ் சோ ஹவு டஸ் ஹவு டு யூ கண்ட்ரோல் த மைண்ட் நவத்வார நிஷித்த விற்பி ஷரீரசி நவத்வாராணி சந்தி தேர் ஆர் நைன் துவாரஸ் கேட்வேஸ் நயனஸ்ரவணே துவே துவே Two, two eyes and two ears, so four. Nasike dve, two noses, so six. Vadanam, one mouth, seven. Payu upastha, which are the excretory and the reproductive organ. These two. Dehe asmin navadvarani dehinam. So for anybody who has a shariram, there are these nine dvara. நவத்வாரம்ேஷன் <laughs> so the vritti of manas vyaparam of manas its adoda pokku nu solrom illaya adu vandu tadukapatirukku it has been obstructed from the nine paths from the nine gates so nav navebhyah dwarebhyah yasya vritti hi vyaparah nishiddhah <coughs> so samadhi vashyam how can it be controlled it is because it has been brought in uh, uh, vashyam in control by samadhi samadhi hi aikagriyam tena vashyam bhavati manas who, whose uh, 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 vyaparam has been controlled because of samadhi so samadhi na vashyam manaha the manas samadhi parishilanam eva hi vishayebhya mano nivaranasya upaya how do you um, shape up that samadhi more and more the mind tries to go out and experience things in the world you keep slowly trying to increase your atma balam and bring that manas inside antarmukham uh, kritva you bring them into the uh, uh, aikagriya concentration so evam bhutam tryambakam dadarsha iti purvena anvaya atra there is this bhavika alankaram that he says atita anagatayoho pratyakshamanatvam bhavikam it's as if you are seeing something the, in the future or if you are something in seeing something in the past as if it is happening in front of you as if if you describe it in such a manner the here it's not that parmeshwara has completely become uh, moksham and there is a kaivalyam and he has become one with the jyotis and he is gone tatha nasti parantu tatha what will happen in the future it's as if he is seeing it here and describing it seems this is just he is a yogi here and he is still sadeha eva he, ha- he is in his body there is no kaivalyam as such here he has not left his body and become one with paramatma swarupa okay now you read the paragraph you will understand atra mahakavi hi paramakarunikaha kalidasaha yogi dasha apannasya parameshwarasya parama pavanam swaswarupa anusandhatrunam swaswarupam anusandhatrunam karma bandha paridhvamsartham kavi shaktya pratyakshamanataya pradarshitavan if how how to experience this 
you can only experience it when all of your karma is gone and only then none of these things are going to bind you and if someone thinks of such a form of parameshwara all your karmas will be gone and you will be able to attain this yogic uh, state okay param he is trying to tell about how someone will attain this yogic state later when uh, when they go through all of these stages in yoga adha solrar inga adanala bhavika alankaram ngra parmakarnika thana and he is showing karuna on the reader on the reader yes by showing oh. us this path abdi ngra oh. this is the vyakya so, anusandhana namba அனுசந்தானம் பண்ணும் பொழுது அனுசந்தாத்திருணாம் ஏவமேவ ஸ்திதி பவிஷ்யதி இது அதுனைவ பிரதர்ஷயதி so this this control of the over the nine doorways uh-huh. and the 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 what do you call it the control of the mind the vashikaranam of the of the manaha Hmm. that all that is, is is basically the natural enemy of that is the manaha mathrati iti manmataha absolutely he is coming there so <laughs> so he is coming so basically that manmata is looking at this shiva who is looking at the atman or 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 parampara of looking yes and that uh, lenna uh, it also uh, shows even if he is in the madri describe pandrache kuda you know even, even if shiva has been described in such an exalted way and yet when manmata just uh, you know strings his bow shiva uh, is or nimisha avarku kalangirathu ella he becomes disturbed by that and uh, he looks at not rijunaiva drishtya umam nad pashyati saha he looks at her lips there and the the uh, the contrast kaavikirathukaga manmata is also extremely powerful Uh, mm. but he gets his strength from shakti there adha yeah adha yeah. adha beautiful ah kaavi par pinnadi aduthathu vande manmatha the moment he sees him abbe he did not even notice that his bow had fallen down na adutha shlokathile varu aha nalakshyata srastam dhanuh nalakshyata nu varu srastam sharam chaapam api swahastat nalakshyat notice e pannala abbe ma appadi oru fear ra avanukku adha paatha odane ஆத்மஸ்வரூபம் she is gone <laughs> okay where his atma swarupam and uh, uh, this thing are merged together clear yeah. and the state will happen later but then he has explained it and shown to us right away here it's as if it is happening right now adanala it is pratyakshamanatam gatah it's pretty anagata atita ivulla mudiyo அதீதமும் அந்த மாதிரி தான் இப்போ அந்த இதுல வரும் விருத்தாக மேக சந்தேசத்துல வந்து இந்த உஜ்ஜைனி வர்ணனம் அத்திர பிரத்யுனக ஹஸ்தினம் பத்னாதி இது ஹில் சே அதீதம் ஆக்சுவலி பிரத்யுனசிய உதயனம் உதயன கதாக ஆர் கான் ஆக்சுவலி தே ஹேப்பன் லாங் டைம் பேக் பட் தென் த பீப்புள் இன் த சிட்டி ஆர் ஆல் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் தட் உதயன கதா விச் ஹேப்பன் லாங் டைம் பேக் அதீதம் ஆஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் அஸ் so inge da here only the gobba it is being tied and then he he comes and then he does the storytelling eppadi pandrom we don't uh, say that's bit in the present ha ah, mm. you you are uh, talking as if it is happening in the present adu da atitasya pratyakshamanatvam a great storyteller will never say when he came abdin solla mata avan vara vanda odane anga nikkara abdi dhan solluva you know you use the present tense to convey the story then it will be more uh, uh, tatrupama irukum you can bring in the scene in front of you 
much better uh-huh. Uh-huh. so it kolenandil uh, is it there in kolenandil yes, yes it's Babhavikam? there bhavikam mm, bhavikam oh. it's there in kolenandil mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the just one note about this navadwaram usually ellaru enna solluvana and the vishuddhi from anahata to agnya chakram never concentrate when you are doing samadhi never concentrate on the agnya chakra and do you always uh-huh. do meditation by concentrating on the hridayam ah uh-huh. imagine there are seven ways to get distracted in the face ah uh, so there are more dwarams there and more easier ways to get distracted so you stay at a place which is more comfortable and you do dhyanam that is why you never go to agnya chakram it there are other uh, distractions there in garthmala oh. <laughs> but you bring it from the top yeah when huh? in, uh, in dhyanam when you yes you um dhyana panbadi you uh, focus on the lotus heart but how you bring that in is through the top yeah top hmm that is yes naturally yeah. agnya vadiya da edukano you do as much mm-hmm. as possible until all your sense organs are in control until then you don't move to agnya chakra you know unless mm-hmm. there is a natural sila perikla if you are doing meditation automatically agnya chakra la there will be a focus that is for some people who have probably gone beyond adan sonne illa their spike would be at a 50% or 80% level so they are mm-hmm. they it's fine but once you are starting your meditation for the first time or something like that initially you try to concentrate in the hridayam hridayam i, I, I missed a class i missed a class or something but i know these uh, two yeah. stanzas have been on the tapas of shiva ama, ama. but uh, in the other kalidas has it described ipo ramara vand valmiki says nigda varna illa இந்த மாதிரி காளித சிவாவோட இங்கேயோ இல்ல சிவலீல இதுல வந்து எங்கேயோ அவரோட கம்ப்ளெக்ஷனை சொல்றேன் அவருக்கு வெள்ள தான் நல்ல ஃபேர் ஸ்கின் அண்ட் பட் ஒன்லி ஹிஸ் ஒன்லி அலோன் இஸ் நெக் அலோன் இஸ் நீலகண்டா நீலகண்டா ஓகே Yeah. And the ever, what's that Adi Shankar or uh, Ardhan Adi Shastotra ma? What is it? Ah, ma ma. And the Shivaya Shiva 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 அதுல அண்ட் இதுல லலிதா சஸ்நாமம் மங்கள ஸ்லோகம் இஸ் சிந்தூர அருண விக்ரகம் விக்ரக இஸ் ஷரீரம் தேர் ஷி இஸ் லைக் தட் அருண ரெட்டிஷ் கலர் ஓகே மனோ நவத்வார நிஷித்த விருத்தி ஹிருதி வியவஸ்தாப்ய சமாதி வசியம் So this shloka, madam, this reminds me of, uh, reminds me of uh, Sarva Karmani Manasa, Sanyasya hmm. Aste Sukham Vashi, Navadvare Pure Dehi, Naiva Kurvan Nakarayan. Uh, right? It's yeah. almost like exactly that same, same model. Yeah, yeah. Same. Mm. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs>